Hello and welcome to third episode of PeopleSoft REST integration tutorial. In this episode, I will guide you how to get authorization from YouTube to use their API services. The process is pretty straightforward and it shouldn't take more than few minutes of your time. Next, I will show you how to download and install YouTube APIs digital certificate on PeopleSoft web server. I'm going to try that in my PeopleSoft single user environment so any one of you can try the same. And lastly, you'll be able to establish successful connection with YouTube API. We are going to test that by creating a new external node and pinging it. Without any further delay, let's get started. By the way, my name is Siva Koya and I'm a PeopleSoft developer from the past 12 years. Before I show you how to get access to YouTube API or YouTube Data API, whatever you call, let's understand what is the purpose of YouTube Data API. For example, using YouTube Data API, I can upload a video to my YouTube channel, delete a video and even search a most liked video in a playlist. I just scratch the surface and the list goes on. Remember, we can do this without accessing YouTube websites just using API. In this tutorial, I'm going to change this video we published in episode 1 by doing a random search on YouTube using YouTube Data API. Now let me shut up and show you where to find YouTube Data API. Just search for YouTube Data API in Google and select the first link. As you can see here, a short description of what we can do with YouTube Data API is shown here. Click on Get Started hyperlink. Ta-da! These are the steps you need to perform to gain access to YouTube Data API. All you need is a Google account to access YouTube Data API. Or you can watch this video and follow along. You will end up with API key from YouTube. Once you have API key, you are ready to go. The process is pretty seamless and let me know if you face any issues in the comments below. Now I assume you have API key. Next what? Let's see what YouTube documentation says about searching content once you have API key. Click on browser back button and then select hyperlink search for content. Here we go. In order to search videos on YouTube using API, you need to send get request to this URL. This is the end point our PeopleSoft needs to communicate in order to search videos electronically. You can even try this API from here just to get a hang of it. In order to do that, scroll all the way to the bottom. Since we are using API key, uncheck Google OAuth 2.0 and click on show code button. Here you can see the syntax of the endpoint URL. All you need to do is add your API key in this URL and additionally, you can add search filters as shown in the left hand side. As you can see here, the URL automatically gets appended with the filters you selected. Don't forget to add your API key here. Next, copy paste the URL in your favorite browser and fire it. As you can see here, YouTube responded back with search results in JSON format. We will get back to this in the next episode. Now we will take baby steps and see if PeopleSoft can ping this website. We are going to test that by creating a new external node and trying to ping it. Alright, now I will log in into my PeopleSoft single user environment and go create that external node. To create an external node, navigate to People Tools, Integration Broker, Integration Setup, Nodes. Click on Add a new value and you can provide any name for your external node. I will call it YT Demo. Provide some description for your external node and make sure change the node type to external. Then carefully choose your default user ID and this user should have access to invoke integration in PeopleSoft. PeopleSoft recommends a minimum of PTPT1000 permission list for this user if you are on PeopleTools 8.55 or below. If you are on the latest version from 8.56, they recommend a permission list of at least PTPT5500. I will use VP1 for this demo. Now let's move to the exciting part. Navigate to connectors tab 
and select the connector id http target because peoplesoft uses http for rest based integration by default http property is set to post since we are receiving response from youtube api let's change it to get you already know the primary url right copy the entire url including the api key which we tested before in the browser There is one additional step I need to do because I am on peopletoolsite.fi. This is the step I learned in a hard way. It has to do with default TLS protocol. TLS stands for Transferred Layer Security. Basically, it encrypts the data between PeopleSoft and YouTube Data API. By default, my PeopleTools uses TLS version 1 over which is no longer supported by YouTube. Good news is I can force PeopleSoft to use supported version of TLS by setting the property here which I will be doing in a moment. By the way, there is a relation between TLS protocol and Java version. Obviously, YouTube wants us to be on the latest version of Java for security purpose. That could be one of the reasons why YouTube is not supporting TLS version 1.0 which PeopleTools uses by default in 8.55. Now, let me go ahead and add header property to force people tools to use TLS version 1.2. Don't worry if you don't see prompt value here. Trust me, it will work out. You might be wondering how come I know all these things? because I was struggling with this issue before I could make my integration work. And now, save your new external node and then ping it. As you can see here, your ping would have failed with external system contact error. I will fix this issue in our next episode by installing YouTube API's digital certificate on our PeopleSoft web server. I'm sorry guys, this episode took more than anticipated time, but I promise I will release the next video along with this one in order to ensure we establish successful communication between PeopleSoft and YouTube API. Stay tuned guys. I really hope you gained some knowledge out of this episode. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends if you like the work I do. I will continue to share the knowledge I gain in my PeopleSoft world. Mm -hmm.